Okay, so we have the iMac, Mac Mini, MacBook Pro and the iPhone 14 Pro, the entire Apple ecosystem, but I would still say Windows is better than Mac. And today's video is going to be a different one. We'll tell you seven practical reasons why Windows is better than Mac. Prateek? TechWiser, let's go. First and foremost, Windows is much easier to use. Not that Mac OS is very complicated or anything, but the point is, as of today, in India, Windows has nearly 80% user base, while Mac OS has around 4%. Like, I'll give you a personal example. When I learned video editing, I was taught Premiere Pro on a Windows machine. So all the shortcut keys that I learned were on the Windows platform. If you open the same Premiere Pro on a Mac OS, the shortcuts are different. Like, you don't have the control or alt button on Mac OS, so you will have to relearn some of the process. The point is, Windows around you and me has a huge community to help you solve your problems. Even your known friends, college teachers, or repair shop will handle your Windows situation much better better. On Mac, you need to put in extra work or people will just say, Mac hai, mereko nahi aata. So growing up, using a Windows computer becomes part of your life. Like if you know computer, it is for sure going to be a Windows computer. And the reason for so much people using Windows is the low price point. Like suppose you want to buy the cheapest Windows has to offer. You can find a Windows laptop under 20,000. Not that we recommend getting it, but if you are very tight on a budget or if you want to buy a laptop for your kids, your parents or grandparents for the casual use, you at least have the option to do so. For Mac OS, the cheapest option that you can buy is this Mac mini on Flipkart. And even this costs 61,990. That is like three times more expensive plus you will have to buy a keyboard monitor mouse separately so suppose i'm a student and i have a budget of 40000 maximum the only option available to me is the windows platform also there are several brand options for windows at every price point like see here you can find a laptop under 40000 50000 60000 you can buy from dell acer hp lenovo you name it so if someone has 20 to 25000 windows gives you the opportunity to learn a computer at 20 25000 learn to be productive and move ahead in life and on top of it if i want a i5 cpu with only 8 GB RAM and maybe an OLED screen, Mac doesn't give you that option. It's just one size fits all. Windows give you options for everyone and at every price point. But Microsoft has been making Windows since a long time. And a fair thing, both Microsoft and Apple are two very big companies. And these companies have a huge user base. But instead of being just a consumer of these companies, you can also invest in these companies like Microsoft, Google, Apple, Netflix from India through the IND Money app. But should you even buy US stocks? Well, let me share a fun fact with you. If you had invested 2,500 rupees every month for the past 10 years in Apple, right now you would have 16 lakhs lakh rupees. Crazy number. This is because apart from the stock appreciation, you also get the benefit of dollar appreciation. Plus, unlike the Indian stock market, you can buy fractional shares in the US stock market. Also, all of us at Team TechWiser use IND money to invest in US stocks because number one, zero commission in buying and selling US stocks. Number two, free US stock account opening. Number three, fully integrated experience in the app. Simply tap, select the stocks, check their returns and if you like it, buy it. Now comes the best part. If you download IND Money and sign up from the link in the description and fund your US account, you will get Apple shares worth rupees 1000 for free. Also, IND Money lets you invest in US stocks via SIP method. You can choose a weekly or monthly SIP for as low as 500 rupees. Download IND Money from the link in the description and fair disclaimer, before buying any stock, do your own research. Also, don't forget to download IND Money from the link in the description and claim your free Apple stocks. Number three is gaming. Most games for computers are available first for Windows and then if there is a huge public demand for it, it is then ported to the Mac OS. Like see here, this is GTA 5's system requirement and see it shows only Windows OS. So if I have a Mac OS, I can't play GTA 5 which is still like 6-7 year old game. And not just that, this is Cyan's Steam library. On Windows, it shows 79 games and Steam library on Mac OS shows only 19 games. So 60 games don't even exist on Mac OS. And these are not small games. I'm talking about bigger games like FIFA or Fortnite which don't even exist on the Mac after years of release. And the reason for this is number of users. Like see here, only 15% of global users are using Mac OS while 76% use Windows. So game developers don't have any added incentive or benefit to make the game for Mac users. And recently, Microsoft also bought a big gaming company called Activision Blizzard at, wait for it, $69 billion. Nice price. But the point is, it shows Microsoft's commitment to gaming. So gaming is better on Windows, not just now. It will be better for the next 5 to 10 years. And performance, see here, I'm running CSGO on a Windows laptop and I'm running the same game on this Mac Mini. The laptop and Mac Mini both cost around 60,000 and in the same settings, the Windows laptop performs much better. The gameplay is smoother, you have higher FPS. So if you're a casual or a serious gamer, I would suggest opting for the Windows platform straight up, no doubt about it. And when we buy a laptop or a computer, we'll use it for 
for at least four to five years. So chances are during the second or third year, I may be in need of a bit more performance, like my work profile could have changed, or I just need more space on my computer. Or simply, my computer started slowing down. On Windows, I have full flexibility to upgrade my system. Especially if I have a desktop, I can simply change the processor, increase the RAM, add in a new GPU, or install a new storage unit. It is as simple as taking out the old part and replacing it with a new one. Or even if I'm using a laptop, most of the brands do give the option to upgrade the storage or even upgrade the RAM. On Mac OS, see, we have an old MacBook Pro 13 inch. This was very good for video editing back in 2015. Okay, see here, I have opened this. First of all, you would need different type of screwdrivers in order to open a MacBook. And once you open it, see here, let alone upgrading, it will take a lot of time to figure out what is what. We had to watch a video and this is your CPU. This inside is your RAM and this both are your storage. None of these things, anything is upgradable. Same goes for the older MacBook Air. Now, if you're a professional and you buy an iMac because it is more powerful, better display. Yes, older iMacs could get a RAM upgrade. We had an iMac from 2015. It got slow over time, so we increased the RAM. But now we have the 2021 Mac Mini, iMac, MacBook Air M1, and all of them cost around easily two and a half, three lakh rupees. And you can't increase the RAM or the storage because everything is soldered together. And if you think of it, it's so stupid. Like I may not be financially strong right now to afford the expensive RAM or storage variant, but I would have more money in two years time. I should at least have the option to upgrade my system when I have money. Next up, on most Windows laptop and desktops, you will have no issue with ports. Like just for reference, this is the Acer Aspire 7. We did a dedicated video on it. You can have a look at this after this video again and see you get several USB A ports, Type C, Thunderbolt, HDMI port so you can easily plug in your external accessories. But on Mac OS, see we have the M1 Pro, one of the top end models from Apple and there is no USB A port. You get only a couple of Type C ports and this is MacBook Pro. If you see MacBook Air, it just has two Type C ports. So in case you have a lot of USB A accessories like this external mouse, it would be easier to connect it to the Windows machine. On Mac OS, either the accessory has to be Type C or you will need a Type A to Type C converter. And this becomes a big inconvenience for two reasons. First, you will have to buy the Type-C accessory or converter and those are quite expensive. And second, even if you buy it, it becomes an issue when you are traveling because then you'll have to carry all your set of dongles and adapters along with you. Next up, since Windows is for so many users, it also has so many features. Like several daily to use features are integrated very well on the Windows. Like, let me show you. Like, see, I'm copying a file to a pen drive. See here, it is copying well and good. And now something urgent came up and I need to plug in the mouse or a hard drive in this port. So I can just hit pause remove the pen drive and connect my mouse, connect the pen drive in another port and hit resume again. Seamless, the copy continues. Now let us do the same thing with the MacBook. See, there is no option to pause the copy. So I'll have to wait for the entire copy to complete and then I can plug in my mouse or other accessory. This is just so stupid. Also on Windows, the UI can be enlarged and it shows essential data while copying. Like the speed at which it is copying and even this cool graph which shows peak speed and everything. Now, how is this useful? So in case you have connected a USB 3 drive to a USB 2 port, you can easily make out from the speed, pause the copy, unplug the pen drive and put it back in a USB 3 port and voila. It resumes and copies at a better speed. So copying file, whether on the network, pen drive, anywhere is definitely better on Windows. Next up, the taskbar on Windows gets so much hate, but Windows taskbar is so much better than Mac. Like see here, I can hover the mouse over the icons on the taskbar and I can see a quick preview of the window. And this quick preview is live. Like if I have a video running in VLC player or YouTube, it will show the video playing in the quick preview. Like so cool. Also, you can simply customize the taskbar and make it look more like the Windows 10, 7, 8, 1 with the start menu and everything. We did an entire video on it. Check that out after this video. And on Mac OS, you get this dock. And if you hover the mouse, nothing. You can't see any of the windows. Like. Why? Or just this simple alt tab feature which we use to switch between apps. On Windows, it looks fascinating. Like see, if I have a YouTube video running as well as a separate video and when I press alt tab, see, it shows all my open windows as well as the video playback. On Mac OS, you just get these icons, no separate window and it looks so dated. And it is not very functional either. Like if I have numerous Chrome windows open, it doesn't show on Mac OS. On Windows, it shows all the Chrome windows that are open. Also on Windows, you can snap several windows on the desktop. Like see here, I have four windows running. So useful. On Mac OS, the max you can snap is two windows in one split screen. I mean, come on. Really? Is this the best reason you can come up with? Yes.
Go ahead, beat me. Well, give me 10,000 likes and I will show you 10 reasons why Mac is far superior than any Windows computer. <laughs> Get it, don't. And it was seven, but just for that, bonus tip, Windows has an edge here. Get it? Edge, edge, see what I did there? Someone at least uses edge. Well, first, there are way more software for Windows than Mac OS. And second, you can install a wide variety of other OS. For instance, I have this Lenovo ThinkPad. This is like seven years old and I have installed Ubuntu on it and it works pretty well. Or you can even install Mac OS and Hackintosh your system. And now previously, there was an option on Mac OS via a tool called Bootcamp. You could dual boot other OSs, but now on new M1s, there's no dual boot option. At best, you can run Windows via an app called Parallels, but that runs Windows within the Mac OS. So the performance is not as good as running it independently. So yeah, those were seven reasons plus one bonus one from Minal why Windows OS is just better than Mac OS, but credit where credit is due, Mac OS has some really interesting features too, and it is the go-to OS for most content creators out there. Like even we use FCP to edit all our videos. So. At the end, there is nothing better than anything. It's just what's good for you and you choose machine which makes you better. On that note, this is Pradeek signing off. See you in the next video. Pew, pew, pew.